Hi, this is Crystal from DaughtersTheCreator.com and I'm continuing through my video blog series, Seriously God. And I'm looking at section two, Gotta Have Friends, and I'm looking at day 25, When God is Your Friend. Genesis 18, 17, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about, what I am about to do? And in James 2.23, Abraham was called a friend of God. And just think about his friendship like any of our friendships. When we're really good friends with people, we tell them what we're really thinking. We tell them what our intentions are. We talk to them. We communicate with them. We, we do things with them. Well, God said Abraham was his friend. And when God was about to pass judgment on Sodom and Gomorrah, he said, should I tell Abraham about this? And you know what's interesting? Abraham's response wasn't, you know what? I heard a lot of bad things about them people, God, and you know, you're so right. You need to just wipe them all off the side of the earth. Because see, some Christians, that's how they are. You know, um, they're sinners, they're heathen, you know, they're going straight to hell. But God's saying, no, if you're a friend of God, you're interceding. You're doing like Abraham, God, if, if there's 50, and God said, if there's 50 people, and if there's 40, God, if there's 30, if there's... He got all the way down to 10. He's like, God, for you know, if I'm, I know I'm pressing it too hard, but if there are 10 people, would you not destroy it? And God said, if there were 10 people, I will not destroy the city. And maybe perhaps Abraham was hoping his nephew Lot, who lived there, would have witnessed and, and, and got some converts over, but apparently he did not. And only Lot and his two daughters survived God's judgment over that entire city, uh, two cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And I think God is saying to us today, we're friends of God. If we put our faith in Jesus Christ and we are living for him, we are friends of God. And, you know, as friends of God, as we are praying and building this friendship through prayer and through study of his word and through ministry and serving others, guess what? God also speaks to us like he spoke to Abraham. He lets us know. Here's how you can intercede for this person or that person. He doesn't just just say, "Oh, you know, I'm not going to I'm going to hide everything." He gives us just I don't know if this has happened to you, but just a gut instinct that to pray for this person's marriage even though you don't even pray for their marriage. You meet their family, pray for that child. God's showing us things not so we can walk around saying how great we are. He's showing us things so we would pray and intercede because he's our friend and just like our earthly friends we, we share what's on our heart with our friends. So I just encourage you, continue to build your friendship with God. He will speak amazing things to your heart. This is Crystal from DaughtersTheCreator.com. I hope you have a blessed week, and thank you again for listening. Bye for now.